Uh, in this uh, short video, we talk about endoscopic ultrasound guided cystogastrostomy with double uh, pigtail uh, plastic stent. Uh, first, we will talk about uh, the used accessories. The first accessory is the uh, uh, US uh, needle. Uh, it should be 19G needle because it can accommodate uh, the 0 0.035 uh, guide wire. We can't use uh, 22 or 25 needles because these uh, needles are too small to accommodate the guide wire. Also, it should be a fine needle aspiration uh, uh, needle and not a fine needle biopsy because fine needle biopsy, uh, the needle has a side opening with a sharp edge, so the guide wire can go uh, to the side uh, opening and it can be sheared uh, against uh, the sharp edge. So it should be fine needle aspiration and not fine needle biopsy uh, needle. Uh, after that, we should uh, uh, widen uh, the puncture side by six French cystotome. The six French cystotome has a ringed knife at its tip, not needle knife, but ringed knife with electrocautery. So we can introduce it over the guide wire to widen the puncture produced by the FNA needle. Uh, and instead of doing uh, the puncture by a needle and widening by six French cystotome, instead we can use the 10 French cystotome, which is formed of an uh, inner part, inner part with the needle knife with electrocautery by which you can puncture the cyst Yes, and then widen this puncture by the outer part, uh, which has a ringed uh, knife with electrocautery. So we puncture with the inner part with the needle knife, and then widen by the ringed uh, uh, knife by with electrocautery. After that, we withdraw the inner part and uh, introduce the guide wire, and uh, produce more widening of the puncture side by CRE balloon, the usual CRE balloon catheter. If we are intending uh, to uh, put one uh, stent, a double pigtail stent, we should widen to a larger degree. We should widen to at least 12 to uh, 15 millimeter. If we will introduce two double pigtail stents, then we can uh, produce dilatation up to eight to 10 millimeter by the CRE balloon. And finally, we can introduce uh, the double pigtail uh, plastic stent. It should be double pigtail uh, to prevent migration of the stent, either inward migration inside the cyst or outward migration in the stomach. Then let us uh, uh, see this uh, short video about the maneuver itself. And I'd like to uh, thank my dear colleague, Dr. Ahmed Zamzami, who helped me in preparing this video. Uh, our patient is a 45 years old male with acute pancreatitis and cyst uh, for uh, present for six weeks. So there is, will be a well-formed wall. This will minimize leakage as much as we can. This is the bulge seen by the endoscopic view of the echoendoscope. And then this is the cyst. We can do characterization of the cyst. And then we should apply Doppler to avoid any intervening vessel in the, in the uh, needle pass. This is the 19G needle. It should be 19G. We puncture the cyst by the 19G and with the a stylet and then introduce the wire 0 0.035 uh, uh, wire. And by the screen, we can ensure that uh, the wire is inside the cyst to is at least one and a half or two coils and the wire should be straight. And then we introduce the six French cystotome. Here is the tip of the six French cystotome. Then we should apply electrocautery. This haziness of the screen means the electrocautery. And then the, cyst, uh, the six French cystotome with ringed tip, ringed knife, uh, pierced and widened the puncture produced by the needle. And here this is introduced the CRE balloon to produce more dilatation. And uh, then we can shift now, we can shift to the endoscopic view. This is the two markers of the CRE balloon. 
تمام اوكي and we then uh, can shift to the endoscopic view and then start to inflate to inflate the balloon this is 20 uh, sorry this is 12 to 15 millimeter cer uh, balloon and then we will uh, inflate it gradually and by the radiological screen Uh, fluoroscopic screen, we can see uh, obliteration of the waste. Of the waste here, this is the there is some indentation here of the balloon, so the waste uh, uh, is there. And then we are keep inflating till the waste disappears. Then we uh, then ensure complete uh, inflation, and then we deflate the balloon. And at that time, we see that there is a market market uh, push. or there is a gush of fluid from the uh, high pressure cyst to uh, the stomach. And then we can introduce the double peak tail stent. And this is the marker of the stent. This is the distal marker of the stent. And then we should release the distal uh, uh, tip of the uh, flask stent. And here, this is the uh, fluoroscopic view. This is very nice. This is the cyst and here, this is the Uh, inside the stomach, and this is inside the cyst, and this is the cyst decreasing in size, and uh, the amount of fluid shifted from the cyst to the stomach. Yes, so there is gradual drainage of the cyst uh, inside uh, the gastric cavity. And thanks for your attention.